Okay, so we got came down to the shop tonight. We've got a couple things we're gonna do. We need to fix an old Porsche case where a bolt broke out and it took a, a hunk of aluminum with it. So that's gonna be fixed. We have to fix a BMW uh, E46 M Roadster diff cover where they tried to change the bushing that goes in there and they broke it. So we're gonna get that fixed up. I'm gonna get the cover off this bad boy and I guess that means we're gonna introduce you to the NASCAR. Let's go ahead and get to work. All right, one project down. All fixed up. Got a little brace on top up here. It's round again. He wanted me to leave anything that was in here uh, untouched. That way he could clean it up and make sure that it fits the new bushing. I believe he's gonna put a Delrin bushing in this. So, BMW diff cover fixed. We're going to go ahead and move on to the Porsche case, Porsche case, I don't know, flat four Porsche case. It's got a little bit broken out here where a bolt or a stud or something goes. So we're going to go ahead, weld around it, build it up a little bit to give it some more strength. And then the customer wanted to be the one to retap it. So I'm just going to leave this bolt in there while I weld it to make sure that the threads and stuff work the way they are supposed to afterwards and then they can run a tap through it to make sure it's nice and strong. Thankfully they went ahead and had this thing cleaned before they brought it to me. Yay for good customers. Good job guys. Alright, you don't always have the tools that you need but sometimes you can improvise. Zip tie pliers. This is the only pair of pliers that I own that would fit down in here so that we weren't on this bearing surface here so that I could get to right here and hold this little bit back in there. Whatever works, right? We have fixed the Porsche case. At least as good as it's going to be fixed. We built it up got the old piece put back where it used to be, welded on up around all the places that we could. It's as good as it can be. The guy is happy with it. I sent him some pictures, so he's happy. And when the customer's happy, I'm happy. All right, guys. So dad pulled the cover off the NASCAR. He's gonna fire it up for a second. Let's check it out.
protest that is required to be under. It's pretty loud. And with the pipes exiting on the one side, it makes it really hard to pass the decibel level. That I think it's under 100 decibels. So that's a difficult thing. But worst case, we'll put some bufflers on it and send it. Pretty badass. NASCARs are cool. So Dad ended up getting this thing kind of by mistake. He found a guy that was had it listed for one price, ended up taking a ton of money off of it because he really just wanted to unload it. He got another car. So it's a sealed 350 that is supposed to be pretty high horsepower. It's a spec class engine, so it's all sealed. They all make the same horsepower. It's actually built for road racing. But we are going to have a blast with this thing. I think Dad's going to do some land speed with it. We're going to try to take it to the Corvette Museum track. This thing revs so fast, it's, it's <laughs> unreal. This car was a new old stock chassis from 1997. The guy had it built in Mooresville, North Carolina. It's all new old stock parts. So one of the exhaust systems from Dale Earnhardt's car, Senior, Dale Sr.'s car is rumored to be on this car. So that's kind of cool. The guy that owned this car before Dad actually only raced it three times. He did three different track days, but that was it. He got a newer car with a little bit newer technology and just kind of put this thing under a tarp and let it sit for a while. Well, he put, decided to put it up on Bring a Trailer. Dad found it, talked to the guy a bunch, went to see this thing, could not believe how nice it was and fell in love. So Dad now has a NASCAR. We're going to do some land speed. We're going to do some road racing with it. So look forward to that on the channel before too long. All right, guys. So we're all finished for the night. You guys got to finally see the NASCAR, listen to it run, check that thing out. I can't wait to drive it. I know my dad's super hyped to drive it, but I'll be honest, I'm really excited to drive that car. 400 horsepower. Dog box, pretty cool. I think our plan is to probably take it to the Corvette Museum track in Bowling Green. That way we can get a feel for the car somewhere close to home, but yet where there's some instruction so that we're not just going at it blind. Um, we are kind of a just send it kind of family, but I don't know that we really want to do that with a car like that. I've heard they're pretty dangerous, so. I hope you liked the video. If you did, smash that like button. Thank you, you guys. Thank you guys so much for the people who have subscribed. If you haven't yet, subscribe. We are going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. I keep saying it, but it's coming. I promise you. I promise it's coming. So, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.